Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Perry celebration of the Eucharist for the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. My name is Tim Pulaski, the commentator for this Mass. Lorraine Reeves is your lector. Your servers are Kashmir and Anne Mary Terrence. Monica and Marco are filming for us. Father George is your celebrant. The special intentions for this Mass are for Margarita Pastor, Petra Bejarano, Roland Ernestino Enciso, Albert Magnussen, and the Carriglin family. Our entrance antiphon is, Blessed be the God the Father, and the only begotten Son of God, and also the Holy Spirit, for he has shown us his merciful love. For those of you who are old-time Catholics, our entrance song is Holy, Holy, Holy. At this time, we welcome Mayor of Globe, Al Gameros, for an update on the COVID situation. Good morning. Good morning. Last week, Father's Reopening Committee announced that we were looking at opening Sunday Masses to the public again on June 14th, after the approval of our opening day plan by the bishop. This decision was based on evaluation of the updated numbers in regards to COVID-19. Unfortunately, the positive cases in our state and in our community have continued to rise, especially this past week. So for that reason, at this time, we feel that now is not the safe time to open our church back up. We will delay the reopening and reevaluate again early July. Father has mailed out another letter to everyone this week with recommendations from the committee. Sunday Masses will continue virtually on our website. We thank you for your continued participation in these Masses. We will still hold the First Communion Mass on June 14th with very limited attendance and through virtual viewing. We will strictly follow all CDC guidelines of social distancing, mask, and hand washing. Please continue to be safe, patient, and kind. We are all praying for an end to this pandemic so that one day we'll be back in our church. 
I ask that you continue to support our church financially. Even though we are not attending masses physically, the church still has monthly operational expenses to pay. Your donation is very much appreciated and can be mailed or dropped off at the office. Again, thank you for your continued prayers and your support. Thank you, Al. Hello, everyone. Good morning, Father. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, you know, this week that we are celebrating the uh, biggest uh, feast, the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, you know, this feast teaches us that our God is a one God and three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And let us offer our worship before the Most Holy Trinity, and let us offer our prayers. So let us acknowledge our sinfulness and ask God's pardon and forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Oh. 
us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity and powerful in majesty through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, if I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O the Lord, the God of our fathers. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all above all forever glory and praise forever blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim praiseworthy and exalted above all forever glory and praise A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice, mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. 
all the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory. Glory to you, Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. You know, my brothers and sisters, we are celebrating the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. You know, the mystery of the Most Holy Trinity is the basic doctrine of our Catholic faith, faith in Christianity. It is understandable, not with our heads, but with our hearts. It teaches that um, there are three distinct persons in one God and sharing the same divine nature, co-equal, co-eternal. You know, our mind cannot grasp this doctrine, which teaches that, you know, one plus one plus one is equal to one, not three. You know, we believe this doctrine in this mystery because Jesus, who is God, taught it clearly. The evangelists recorded it, and the fathers of the church explained it, and the councils of Nicaea and the council of Constantinople defined it as a dogma in the Catholic Church. Again, you know, about the Holy Trinity, when you think about that, all our spiritual life, all our Christian life is based on this uh, Holy Trinity. It's, so it's a very important part in our Christian life, in our spiritual life, because, you know, we know that all the prayers in the church, even in our own private prayer, 
we begin in the name of the holy trinity in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit then we start our prayer and again all the prayers ends glorifying the holy trinity you know we we finish all the prayers glorifying glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit so we worship the holy trinity and again all the sacraments in the catholic church is administered in the name of the holy trinity you know we are baptized we are confirmed we are anointed our sins are forgiven our marriages are blessed all in the name of the holy trinity again you know the church reminds us daily three times you know ringing the bells the church bell bells can ring thrice daily to remind us to pray to the holy trinity again you know we bless ourselves in the sign of the cross by praying in the name of the holy trinity and the priest bless us in the name of the holy trinity so in our catholic church we offer all our prayers we worship the holy trinity again when we look into the uh, bible you know in the bible there are only vague and hidden references to the trinity in the old testament but in the new testament gives a clear teachings on the holy trinity you know especially at the time of uh, annunciation you know god the father sent his angels to mary god the holy spirit overshadows her and god the son becomes incarnate in her womb again at uh, at the baptism of jesus you know when jesus the son receives baptism from john the baptist you know the voices the father's voice is heard the holy spirit appears as a dove and again at the time of ascension you know when jesus before ascended into heaven jesus gives a missionary command to his disciples to baptize those who believe in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and again when we go to the gospel of john especially the chapters from 15 to 18 we have a detailed account of jesus's teaching on the role of each person in the holy trinity in a god the father creates provides for his creatures god the son incarnate he redeemed us reconciled us with god and again god the holy spirit sanctifies us strengthens us teaches us and guides us to god so as we are celebrating the solemnity of the holy trinity most holy trinity you know we need to remember let us respect ourselves and others because everyone is the temple of the holy spirit where all the three persons of the holy trinity abide so let us respect ourselves respect others god lives in them the holy trinity abides in in them 
And again, let us have a firm conviction that the Trinitarian God abides in us. And he is the source of our hope, our courage, our strength. And uh, Holy Trinity is our final destination. And again, let us, let us practice the Trinitarian relationship of love and unity in the family relationships of the father, mother, and children. Because by baptism, we become children of God and members of God's Trinitarian family. So let us worship God the Trinity. Our God is a Trinitarian God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, that is why um, St. Francis Xavier, he always prayed um, a beautiful prayer. Most Holy Trinity, who lives in me, I praise you, I worship you, I adore you. A beautiful small prayer that we can also recite every moment in our life. Most Holy Trinity, who lives in us, I praise you, I worship you, I adore you. A beautiful prayer that we can pray and adore Jesus, adore God. And let us conclude our reflection uh, on, the, on our Trinitarian God with uh, St. Paul's prayerful greetings that we heard in today's second reading. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of our God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Let us profess our Catholic faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe the Holy Spirit, the Lord giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us offer our petitions before our loving and merciful Father. That the Pope, our bishops, and our priests will be strengthened as they continually turn their hearts to God in prayer and praise. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders will strive to become good stewards of the goods of our fragile planet, created by God to be a garden of delight. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the nations of this earth will learn to live in peace, especially here in our United States. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That farmers will be blessed with a healthy growing season and a fruitful harvest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Facebook viewing audience, may you feel the presence of Christ in your home or, where you may, or wherever you may be viewing the Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from the effects of the coronavirus and the doctors, nurses, frontliners, grocery and restaurant workers be in safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick will be comforted in their pain, especially Gabriel Acosta, Barbara Benjamin, Yolanda Kiriel, Carmen Acosta, Richard Rocha, Francis B. Gonzalez, and Rosemary Castaneda. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will relive forever with God, Father, Son, and Spirit, especially Margarita Pastor, Petra Bejarano, Roland Ernestina Enciso, Albert Magnuson, and the Carriglin family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Sanctify by the invocation of your name. We pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service by it Make of us an eternal offering to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance, their equality in majesty. And so, with all the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Santo eras en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques estos dones con la efusión de tu Espíritu, de manera que se conviertan para nosotros en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo, nuestro Señor. El cual, cuando iba a ser entregado a su pasión, voluntariamente aceptada, tomó pan, dándote gracias, lo partió y lo dio a sus discípulos, diciendo, Tomen y coman todos de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. Del mismo modo acabada la cena, tomó el cáliz y dándote gracias de nuevo, lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, Tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. Este es el sacramento de nuestra fe. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte, muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y el cáliz de salvación y te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad a cuando participamos del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro obispo Edward y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, llevada a su perfección por la caridad. Acuérdate también de nuestros hermanos que se durmieron en la esperanza de la resurrección y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia. Admítelos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Ten misericordia de todos nosotros y así con María, la Virgen Madre de Dios. Su esposo, San José, los apóstoles, y cuantos vivieron en tu amistad a través de los tiempos, merezcamos por tu Hijo Jesucristo compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Por Cristo con el y en el a ti Dios Padre omnipotente y en la unidad del Espíritu Santo todo honor y toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. 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 in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with Amen. your spirit. Let us offer each other God's peace. Peace be with you.
Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am not I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us, receive it. The body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, you reveal to us God as a Trinitarian God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For this we say, we thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, through your incarnation, you became a brother to us. For this we say, we thank you, Lord. Let us pray. By receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you, everyone. And uh, next Sunday uh, that we are uh, celebrating the most holy body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, so during that day, we have 16 children are receiving first time Jesus in their life. So please pray for that, our children, 16 children and their families, so that they will grow in Jesus um, by receiving Jesus. And we want also pray for all the teachers and uh, all, the, all their parents and godparents and for forming them in our Christian faith. So 16 children, next Sunday they receive first time Jesus in their life. So we can continue to pray for them. And thank you everyone and uh, have a good time. Bye. Who 
Thank you, and may God be with you throughout.